at five, a story of perseverance and payoff. David Moskowitz was sidelined from sports by a rare neurological disorder during his senior year of high school. Yeah, you know what? Now he is ready to work with the very same people who helped him out. Evan Millward shared his story back in 2018. He's back now in the studio with us to give us an update. Evan? So a couple of things you should know. First, this is National Stroke Awareness Month. And this is the 2022 American Stroke Association Voters' Choice Stroke Hero. David's progress over four years is pretty remarkable. That's 2018 when we first met him. He was in a specialized unit at Cincinnati Children's. Now he's a UC nursing grad, and he has a job lined up back in that same ICU. I made it. I graduated, and I'm thriving right now. I'm doing the best I have these past out of these past four years. When David Moskowitz walks across UC's Uptown campus now, he does it as an alumnus. He just graduated from nursing school. He was six months from starting here when we first met him on David Moskowitz Day. All right. hey, there we go. Hey, buddy. The Sycamore lacrosse player was in the prime of his life when he was diagnosed with an inoperable tangle of blood vessels and an aneurysm in his brain. He'd noticed tingling and numbness, and it got worse from there. He ended up in a special ICU at Children's. Nothing challenges you like that than getting hospitalized and almost fighting for your life and almost dying. High school athletes around our area rallied for him. Hashtag David Strong is still a rally today. Check out his shirt. It solidified his desire to be a nurse, and now he's headed back to work in the ICU that cared for him. I just love learning from them. I can just be there for my patients, be able to provide empathy to them and be, sit down with them and be like, I know this is a tough time. I've been there. That's the next leg of his race. I just love the kids and how you never know what to expect there. Anything can change at any moment, and I just love the intensity. Something he'd missed for years as the athlete stayed sidelined. And now new motivation. Voters chose him as this year's stroke hero for his work, especially with the Heart Mini. Thing, like at times I question, like, are we done with this? Is it time to just move on in my life? This uh, award helped me like realize that I still can make a difference in this world. My story still matters. So David tells me he got cleared last May during Stroke Awareness Month. That means the constant monitoring and the tests are pretty much all done. He can live his life again and he's going to do it by paying it forward once he passes his boards this summer. Pretty remarkable, Tanya. He is a remarkable young man. Thanks for bringing it to us, Evan.